L. DeBarge, born Eldra Patrick DeBarge, is a renowned American singer, songwriter, and musician, best known for his falsetto voice and as the lead singer at the family group DeBarge. Eldra Patrick DeBarge was born on June 4, 1961, in Detroit, Michigan. He was the sixth of ten children born to Robert DeBarge Sr. and Adrienne, known as Mama D. DeBarge. The DeBarge family was musically inclined, with Adrienne being a gospel singer. Music played a significant role in the family's life, providing a foundation for L. DeBarge's future success. The DeBarge household was marked by a turbulent environment. Robert DeBarge Sr. was reportedly abusive towards his children and his wife, leading to a strained and difficult upbringing, L. and his siblings. This troubled family life had a profound impact on L., both personally and professionally. L. DeBarge's earliest musical experiences came from the church. His mother, Adeline, encouraged her children to participate in the church choir, where Elle developed his singing abilities. Gospel music was a significant influence, shaping his vocal style and musical sensibilities. Elle DeBarge, along with his siblings, Mark, Randy, and Bunny, formed the group DeBarge. They initially performed in local clubs and talent shows, gradually building a reputation for their harmonies and musical prowess. The group's blend of R&B, soul, and pop set them apart, and they soon caught the attention of the music industry. In 1979, the DeBarge group signed with Motown Records, one of the most prestigious labels in the music industry. This was a significant milestone for Al and his siblings, providing them with a platform to reach a broader audience. The group released their debut album, DeBarge's, in 1981, but it was their second album, all This Love, 1982, that brought them mainstream success. Elle DeBarge emerged as the lead singer and primary songwriter for the group, showcasing his distinctive falsetto and songwriting talents. Key tracks, All the Love, this ballad, written by Elle, became a major hit and established DeBarge as a significant act in the R&B genre. I Like It, another successful single, that highlighted the group's harmonious vocals and Elle's smooth lead voice. Throughout the early to mid-1980s, DeMarge continued to release successful albums and singles. Their third album, In a Special Way, 1983, featured hits like Time Will Reveal and Love Me in a Special Way, further cementing their place in the music industry. In 1986, Elle DeMarge embarked on a solo career releasing his self-titled debut solo album. The album featured the hit single, Who's Johnny?, which became a top 10 hit on Billboard. His solo work showcased his versatility as an artist, blending R&B, pop, and funk influences. Elder Barge made several comebacks throughout his career, demonstrating resilience and a continued passion for music. Notably, his 2010 album, Second Chance, received critical acclaim and earned him three Emmy Award nominations, marking a significant resurgence in his career. The album earned L three Emmy Award nominations, highlighting his enduring talent. The album's themes of redemption and resilience resonated with listeners. Reflecting L's personal journey, songs like Rhythm of the Night, All This Love, and Who's Johnny? continue to be beloved classics. Elle's music remains popular, and his influence can be seen in the work of contemporary artists. But it has not always been a smooth ride for this music legend. He experienced one of his lowest points in 2012 after getting arrested for drug possessions in Los Angeles. The case was eventually dismissed for lack of sufficient evidence with the star posting bail of $30,000. Prior to that incident, the 53-year-old singer served over a year in prison for drug abuse, completing his time in 2008. DeBarge already has a criminal charge to his name after an ex-girlfriend, Tammy Terrell Rose, got a restraining order against the musician. The Blast reported back in December.
Earlier that month, DeBarge had followed her in another vehicle as she was driving along a Los Angeles freeway. He overtook her, pulled in front of the car, and pulled a shotgun out and waved it in the air, she told authorities. Rose also claimed that members of his family, including his daughters, verbally abused her. She believed that DeBarge and his inner circle were trying to ruin her reputation. The rhythm of the night, Singer was ordered to stay at least 100 yards away from Rose until a hearing in January. She also had several stints in rehab to overcome the habit, which eventually paid off. In addition, the second chance Singer encountered several rushes with the law for charges related to domestic violence and vandalism. L's struggles with addiction led to legal troubles, including arrest and jail time. However, he demonstrated resilience by seeking help and working towards recovery. His journey towards sorority became an important part of his life story. Notwithstanding, the father of 12 lived past the scandals and learned to lead a lifestyle that has left him looking ageless with no telltale signs of his tumultuous past. Elder Barge once opened up about his struggles to reconnect with his 12 children and why he lost one of them. In an interview with Jet Maxi, El discussed his kids, 11 biological, and one he's accepted as his own, by five different mothers, three of whom he was married to, after overcoming a 22-year-old drug habit that largely kept him away from his kids, El revealed, I intend to be in their lives forever. God gave me a second chance. I am so very glad with what it is going on with my career, but I want to be a success in my relationship with my children, DeBart says. He also recalled how he lost his three-year-old daughter. I have one child that I lost to the system but I was on drugs. He admits to Jet over the phone. He believes that the girl has been adopted. I don't know where she is. Elle also spoke on two other children he'd never met at the time, 2010. I know where they are, but so many years have gone by. They know their dad is Elle Barge. I am trying to earn their trust again. I am calling and texting. It's kind of hard. They got used to me not being around, he admits. I lost them. I am trying to reconnect with them. From that point, it is hard on me emotionally. According to ILOSN, L reconnected with his oldest daughter, Adris, pictured on her wedding day when she was in her late 20s, and he said this about having been a teenage dad. I was in no way ready when my daughter was born but I want to be a good father to her. Address on reconnecting with the dad. It is brand new and I am enjoying it to the fullest, she says. It gives me so much joy and so much pride now at this point in our lives. It's just to watch him and be able to see him sober and happy, so happy and mortal. It really is such a gift to have him around. Elle's brother, singer Chico DeVarge, said he admires Elle for owning up to his roles and making genuine efforts to do right by his children. He, Elle, is very attentive. He is on it. He is reaching out to them and communicating with them on all levels. If they are angry, he lets them vent that out. I've seen him do that. He lets them get it out. He is trying to catch up on all the years he missed. He is trying to make up for what he didn't do and give them what he can't right now. Chico told Jet Magazine, me, El DeBarge's wife, Monique DeBarge. She and El DeBarge were reportedly married for years and shared three children, two daughters and one son together. Though the two are no longer together and they've maintained a full friendship for the sake of their children. Cool to see them handling their responsibilities like grown folks. Moving on, on New Year's Day 2020, Ralph and his then-new lady, Monique, made it very clear that they were official when Monique posted the two of them ringing in the New Year together. 
She captioned her photo with, After all, it's 2020. Cheers. Along with two wine glass emojis, so we know it's real. Needless to say, fans were hella excited to get a glimpse into the love life of the ever so private Ralph Tresband. He's admittedly always kept his personal life out of the public eye, so it's refreshing to see the brother beginning to step outside of his comfort zone in this way. Fast forward to today, and it appears that he and Monique DeBarge are still growing strong. Monique sometimes shares photos of her man, championing his latest projects, and big upping him for his birthday. Much like she did for Ralph's May 16, 2021 V-Day when he turned 53 years old. One of Monique and L. DeBarge's daughter, Bobby Monique DeBarge, commented, Gorgeous couple. Underneath Monique's V-Day tribute to Ralph, while Ralph's oldest daughter, Nepal Trepsvant, liked the post and commented, I love this note. L. DeBarge's net worth, 2024. In 2024, L. DeBarge's net worth is estimated to be around $4 million, a reflection of his journey through the peaks and valleys of the music industry. As reported by Love Sluts, this financial snapshot, while modest, tells the story of resilience and undid talent in the face of personal and professional challenges. We invite you to explore the mansion in Alpharetta, Georgia, that gained fame when renowned singers Aldebarge acquired it in 2003. The couple made headlines with his purchase of this magnificent, 7,734 square foot residence for nearly $1,400,000. Upon entry, the grandeur is immediately evident in the two-story foyer, adorned with a breathtaking staircase that sets the tone for the opulence within. The focal point of the home is its expansive living room, featuring a vaulted ceiling and large windows that Flood the space with natural light, creating an ambiance of sheer elegance. A spacious dining room, perfect for hosting gatherings, adds to the most allure. Descending to the lower terrace level, one finds a haven of entertainment, complete with a mahogany bar, a billiards area, a bedroom, a full bathroom, an exercise room, and an open media room. Equipped with a staggering 150-inch drop-down screen, a dream come true for any entertainment enthusiast. Luxury abounds throughout the property, with upgraded lighting enhancing its appeal. Outside, an invisible edge saltwater pool and a separate spa offer the ultimate in relaxation and recreation. The heart of the home, the chef's kitchen, both high-end appliances. The heart of the home, the chef's kitchen, both high-end appliances, a wine and coffee bar, and an octangle breakfast note, perfect for starting the day in style. The master suite, located on the main floor, epitomizes indulgence with its double closets, coffee bar, and a luxurious bathroom, featuring a soapy tub providing a sanctuary of serenity. Upstairs, three ensuite bedrooms with newer hardwood floors complete the picture of refined luxury. In 2007, El DeBarge bid farewell to their custom-designed bow, passing it to the Schaller family, who acquired the five-bedroom marvel for over $1,100,000, marking the end of an era for this remarkable home.